Hey guys. guys. So I am in Kansas still. Um, I am taking my first walk around video at my parents' place. Um, today we've spent the afternoon going through an old trailer full of stuff. Um, when my grandmother was well, forced to leave her apartment, uh, it left a lot of things being rushed into a trailer without any real time to take care of it. And I wasn't here at the time, so I couldn't help them with that. So we've been going around and uh, cleaning out stuff, putting things in, trash, goodwill to keep. Found some really old stuff from the 1800s, which is cool. Uh, mostly need to be looking it up now, seeing if it's worth anything, who wants to keep it, who wants part of it, if it's worth restoring, things like that. Like an old uh, 1940s uh, sewing machine, which was pretty impressive. Um, but here I'm on my parents' property. They have uh, about an acre of land. Of course, it's not everything. They have neighbors. Um, this is my childhood home. I was, well, not born on this property, but raised on this property. Um, it's the same house that my parents built. Um, my dad built it uh, in 1979. So it was the first house out here. This whole area was nothing before, so it's kind of a bragging rights, I guess. Um, yeah, for now, it's uh, got a lot, a lot of work to be done on it. Um, things that my husband will be helping my dad with, like uh, the new air conditioner um, heating system, putting in all the vents and stuff. My dad has done a lot of jobs, so he knows how to do a lot of everything, sort of. So he's going to pass that on to Thomas, which is cool. Um, I'll learn a bit, but there's a lot of cleaning up the house that we need to do. So there's jobs for everyone, for sure. Um, yeah. Last night I went to a uh, uh, woodworking for mere mortals uh, meetup, which was very cool. Got to meet Steve Ramsey and uh, Jimmy Daresta, which I'll put their links uh, in the description below, so you can check out their channels there. Eh, I respect them a lot. I really like what they do. Um, so that was very cool to meet them in person. I wasn't sure when that would ever happen, but they were always on my top list of people I would like to meet, you know. Um, but yeah, it's been a good few weeks and uh, still a lot to do with the immigration, so that's kind of a bummer, but it in itself is a full-time job just to try and get someone to be able to stay here legally. It is not a walk in the park and nobody gets free pass, just like if you're an American in another country, you don't get a free pass. Everyone was always so shocked that as American, I did not get, you know, pushed through a special line at immigration services and, you know, didn't get an automatic pass. They wanted to deport me right away, so it's hard, you know, it's really hard. But immigration is part of life when you're with someone from another country. But, yeah. I don't know, I didn't really have anything uh, major to say right now, but I'm very close to having 200 subscribers. So I'm going to be announcing a, uh, well, I suppose giveaway is the right thing to say, but I don't know. I have a twist to it that I'm going to announce, and that has to do with my artwork, sketching, and stuff, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for sticking around and subscribing. And uh, I might do more of these little vlogs uh, now that I have my actual camera, since Thomas was able to bring it with him on the plane, and I don't have to rely on my little webcam on the last few videos. So I'll be restarting all of my sketches again because I was still showing you guys ones from uh, when I was still in France and had made a bunch ahead because I knew that this period was going to be difficult in figuring out how to set up for all my videos and what the setup was going to be really. So now that I've kind of worked out those kinks, I think I can get started again and uh, be making new videos. So I will see you guys later. If you have any questions or comments or anything, just let me know. I love to hear from you all and I will see you guys later. Bye.